wow, my video is actually taking off. Like, because you know, on the uh, you, that the tips that we. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Mo, welcome back to my art channel and welcome back to another 5 tips video. Uh, something really weird happened, my latest 5 tips for digital art beginners video is kind of taking off, which is crazy weird considering uh, I uploaded it like 3 months ago already. <laughs> we wouldn't be on YouTube if I wouldn't jump straight back onto the hype train and do another 5 tips art video for you. Let's jump straight in with tip number 1 guys. So tip number one is that you should learn how to draw. And I know this tip kind of sucks when you start, you know, your art journey. Uh, you see all these amazing artists on the internet that do all these amazing paintings without doing a line work. So you think, okay, now let's jump into this as well and directly start with painting. Now, I, I did the same. I looked a lot at artists like Dice Tsutsuma, for example, who worked for Pixar and is an amazing artist, so he can do these amazing paintings without having line work done before. But what you don't see is actually that he has decades of practice behind these paintings. And if you do some research, you will find that he actually is able to do amazing drawings. So always keep that in mind. Because if you don't and make the same mistakes as I did, then you will end up with an artwork that looks like this, where I, at this time, wasn't able to draw really good and wasn't able to paint really good. And if you put both of those together, you end up with a really not good looking artwork. On the other hand, if you get better at line work, this is one of my artworks from 2019, I guess. You can get away with just adding flat colors. Your artwork looks a lot more finished and a lot better without any painting in wall. In general, I would recommend you guys start with learning how to draw before you do anything else. Which directly leads us to tip two, guys. You should definitely finish your artwork. I think this is one of my biggest mistakes in my art career. Uh, in the beginning, I wasted a lot of years just doing studies and really sketchy, sketchy sketches. And this lead to me doodling around for a couple of years and never actually finished an artwork. So once I wanted to start making a portfolio, I realized that I I'm not able to finish an artwork because I have some kind of a clue how a hand looks in a sketchy uh, sketch, um, but I, I don't really know how to finish it. Why? Leads us directly to my sketchbook. So this is my very first sketchbook, and this is my very first drawing in this sketchbook. And yeah, it's not good or anything in particular, but. If this was before my sketchy sketch phase, so I gave my best because I didn't want to ruin this sketchbook. I felt really precious about it. This really shows that um, you should from time to time finish your artwork and see at which skill level you are and don't make the same mistake as I and just leave it at the sketchy stage. So tip number three guys is art takes time. Art will take you years to get good at. Don't start thinking about I will be really good in one year or two years. Just try to improve from artwork to artwork. And I did a video about this. I'm gonna link it up here where I redo one of my 2014 artworks back in 2018. So there are four years in between. You can clearly see that I got a lot better at drawing. And uh, you know, my coloring isn't, wasn't really good in 2018, but I gave my best. And because my drawing was a lot better, uh, the artwork looks a lot better. Now, in between 2018 and 2020, I learned a lot. And so my artwork at the moment looks like this. So I think it's a lot better and you can clearly see the process. And art doesn't only take time in this bigger picture. Also, when you focus on a particular artwork, this artwork I did in two hours and then I spent six hours more and it looks so much different. doesn't really matter at which skill level you are, guys. Just put a lot more time into your art. Maybe try spending 10 hours, maybe 20 hours on an artwork. Which leads us to tip four, uh, don't believe in talent. I actually read a comment on my YouTube channel. I always wanted to get into digital art and 3D modeling, but then I realized I have no talent and there will always be art better than mine. So what's the point? And uh, there was a, like a really good answer to this. Uh, I think it's stupid to say I have no talent. Nobody is born with skills and talent. Skills must be built up by the person during time. Yeah, this is really true. I think it's uh, a really great answer. So, by the way, thanks guys for um, you know having such a cool community who helps each other out 
and if someone feels a bit discouraged I, I, I'm really appreciating that you guys jump into the comments and help this person out and I can totally agree I would say talent is just dedication and passion to something that it will drive you always back into trying again then this is talent for me and this is the passion that you need to get good at anything actually and then I think there is one percent that is really is exceptionally good like guys like Kim Jong Gi who like can draw everything from all kind of angles without doing a specific underdrawing and stuff which but still he put in like 20 years of drawing daily into it and if both of these things come together you have those really crazy exceptional talented guys but for most of us like the 99% uh, it's just practice it's just dedication there's no such thing as talent guys so don't believe in it tip number five which is start sharing guys especially if you want to get one of those weird social media artists like I become more and more and like a lot of other people are then you should start sharing your artwork as soon as possible so it doesn't really matter if your art is good or bad it will do two things for you uh, first thing is that people are really interested in seeing the process they like to follow a person's art journey I wish I would have started sharing and started my YouTube channel a lot earlier than I did actually but if you scroll down on my Instagram you can see at least the last five years of my art journey which is so cool if you think about it. The second thing it will do to you is that you will start to get rid of the fear of sharing because um, back in the days I uploaded things then I deleted artworks again because I wasn't happy about them but if you start sharing really early start sharing bad artworks like 200 bad artworks and slowly you get into posting better and better artworks and maybe in a couple of years you will be posting the most epic artwork on Instagram. This is really good for you to just lose the fear of sharing. So these were my five tips I wish I knew when I started back then. As I said I wasted a lot of years and I hope this video helped you to prevent some of those mistakes. By the way if you want to learn how to draw and paint uh, check out my Patreon where I post written in video tutorials every week where I put three minutes on the clock each Thursday and then we're gonna learn something new about art, drawing, painting, whatever it is. So maybe I will see you over there and if not, hopefully see you next time. So bye bye guys and keep on drawing. I'm slipping away, so don't let